Welcome aboard. I'm Jason Navargo, and it's time for supper. A really loud supper, apparently. This is a uh, simple little horror uh, point and click game where apparently you play as an old woman who's got a lot more than old age going on. Wow, lady, you look like you've been outside the fridge for too long. Maybe we need to stick you in the freezer. What's this here? Psst, Miss Appleton. Wake up. Yeah, oh, okay. You, you, uh, your eyes are a bit lopsided. Everything's a bit lopsided. I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Hey, what? Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. The time? What? I don't... We haven't invented clocks yet. Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? No, we don't. Wow, that's really intense organ music coming from my larder. Okay, so here's my special sauce. She's just say, eh, 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 it's just my special sauce. You know how it is. You murder a bunch of people, you stick them in the soup. The cartilage gets all mushy. It's the blood. I keep forgetting to drain the blood. Eh, the embers. I don't know what to do with these. I'm just an old lady. Okay, so what do we, what, seriously, what do we do? Solid wax. Why are we, why do we need solid? Okay, I guess we grab some embers with the tongs. And then we just stick it in our a live ember in our pocket, I guess. Let's can we melt the can we melt the wax? No? What about this swordfish that's just sticking on the wall? Did you kill that yourself, grandma? <laughs> I mean, she don't look like much, but when she gets going, oh man, she's a hellcat. Recipes du jour. Pigeon a la sauce rose. One the wild pigeon. Cover with special sauce. Spicy red swordfish. A blue swordfish tail covered with special sauce. Everything comes with the special sauce. Hello. Light candle. Yes. A faint flicker of memory in her old brain. I know. It's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Like this. Uh... No, Granny, you have to put them there. Okay, yeah, you figured it out. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Okay. Pick up the water jug, I guess. Um, doorbell. Do I ring my own doorbell? No time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. You smell them. You smell them. Who is you? Who am me? Am I the vo am I the go vo vo the ghost voice? The voice ghost? Why don't you go and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, my special sauce made with ketchup and Pepper and salt and completely normal ingredients. Nothing untoward. Why, no, that's not your best friend's head floating in the soup. That's just a little bit of the the, 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 the knuckle bones. It's over from the pig. Yes, yes, it's, it's all well and good. Now just stick some solid wax down my pants. It keeps the old joints lubricated, don't you know? Mmm, smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. Oh, and they brought an organist with them. Do you think it could be them? Could it be them? Oh, it's th 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 the the uh, the. Uh, uh, okay. Whatever they are, they want food. That dude has an octopus attached to his head? Is, uh, 
this is like a master blaster situation. Who's really in control here? Is it the dude or is it the octopus latched onto the head of the dude? I'm not entirely sure. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. Oh, definitely, yeah. I totally want these guys on my dinner table. So, what would the gentleman like to start with? Mind controlling fungus. Okay. Old man and deadly shark. I mean, it is self explanatory. What would the mind controlling fungus like for dinner? He wants. Spicy red swordfish, a personal favorite. A mouth-watering delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega-3. Excellent choice! Pigeon a la sauce rosé is our chef's specialty. And, uh... Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. So, that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind-controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce rosé for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come, Miss Appleton, go and fetch the ingredients and don't forget to check the recipe list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. Yes, 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 time to prepare. Let's get the pigeon a la sauce rosé out of the way first. One wild pigeon. Do we have a wild pigeon anywhere in the house? Do, do we? Uh, no, apparently not. We need to find a way to get the sword. Okay, we need to go and get the ingredients. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please enjoy the wine. Our waitress will be back with you shortly. For she is also the cook, and of course the cook must get fresh ingredients thank you all for coming i'm sure you will all be delicious tonight be patient miss appleton be patient yes there's acquire a wild pigeon and i think a knife in order to cut off the swordfish tail and then a hand and tongue okay so this is where the adventure part comes in we're on an adventure, Miss Appleton. Stop shrugging so much. It's 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 fine. Oh, there's the pigeon right there. <laughs> no, Miss Appleton. It's gonna take a little more than that, okay? I hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. Why? You think just because she toddles around on peg legs that she can't can't walk? Is that is that so? You think you think a person without legs can't walk? That's non-leg prejudice right there. Hello, old man. Oh, Paul beat. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Okay, I guess we take the fish bowl. Ooh, what's that? A boot? A wet boot. Good. I have a wet boot. Awesome. Well, Pete, thank you so much for what all that you've done. I'll just, I'll, I, I hope you come to your senses sooner or later. And by that, I mean, I hope you get come back to life, maybe. Can we throw the boot at the pigeon? Sorry. Yes, we do. <laughs> what? Oh, at least she said sorry before she beamed the pigeon in the head. I wasn't expecting that to work. Let us finish the dish of pigeon a la rose. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Pigeon, but you just taste too good to go to waste. What else is there on the recipe? Yes, just cover it with the sauce. 
And there we have it. Just like cooking mama would want. The pigeon a la rose sauce is ready to be served. Old man, you're about to get the meal of a lifetime. Yes. Yes, yes. Eat up. Bon appetit, monsieur. We wouldn't want those. We wouldn't want you getting too skinny in your old age now, would we? Yes, yes. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. <laughs> Don't worry. They're used to passing out in taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. Yes, we should collect the scissors and now we shall return to the ship to snip the snails, the sway, the sails. Sorry, I'm getting, my mouth is getting so worked up thinking of all the delicious people and <laughs> ingredients that we're going to eat tonight. Yes. Okay, Miss Alpha, thanks for flashing me. I, you just demonetized my entire video, though. <gasps> I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Okay. Sure, why not? Sip. Oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McCurry, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Oh. Live by the domestic abuse, die by the butcher knife in the back. Whoa! Miss Appleton! Uh, you, uh, uh, okay. Um, you're looking a bit bony there? We'll just let that collect for a bit. Yes, exactly three drops of water filled up the entire mug. Excellent. And now we use that on the seedling, I guess. It's magical bilge water. Ah, oh, good, the chili peppers. Wonderful. Now, what do we do next? I just slither on back down here. Okay, we used the knife to chop the tail off of the swordfish, I'm pretty sure, because we couldn't get it off before. Enjoying your meals, old man? He's not hungry. No, of course not. They'll all be so full, won't they, Miss Appleton? Yes. Yes. Yes, use that knife. Yeah. Perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now finish the dish. Finish the dish, Miss Appleton. Finish the dish. Finish the dish. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Yes. Yes. Would the Mr. Mind Controlling Fungus like to eat? He's just going to slurp it up. Oh. Yes, wonderful. He broke into a cold sweat. He was so delirious with the taste. A satisfied stomach. This delicatessen is a pleasure worth dying for. <laughs> Do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Laugh, yes. Let me just take that tongue right there. He won't mind. He's not using it anymore. Jaylicky, don't worry, Mr. Shark. You'll be in a food coma soon enough. Yeah, Jaylicky. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll, uh, nothing shocks me anymore. Skeleton and hand. Apply tongue to hand? No? Okay. I mean, it's not quite as filling as regular hand and tongue soup, but... You know, it'll, it, it's pretty much, as, at least you'll get the bony broth flavor, right? Right? What else do we need? A plump human hand and a slimy tongue. Are you sure they don't mean a slithy toe? Okay, so we don't, we don't need a skeleton hand. We need a human hand. Oh, okay. Where are we going to get a human hand? The old man's a human, correct? Wait a minute. Can we just, oh. I thought we could just like dress it up as a human hand. 
and then we could like uh, make him pretend that it was that it was that. Oh wait, what if we use the hand? Slap that. Oh no. Tongue on lever. Anything on lever. Lever. No. What exactly do we do? We have a skeleton hand. But how exactly do we replace that? The Joyous Lobster Inn, best place in town for a snack. So you'll like it so much you'll never want to leave. <laughs> hmm. Solid wax. The only thing we haven't applied anything else to is the wax to the. Oh! Okay, so now. Oh, we. Oh, okay. Okay, now. I was right. We are gonna make it look like a regular hand. Perfect! Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish it. Although that was a bit of a leap in logic. Not quite sure about that. I would have just had it so you apply the wax to the hand, but whatever. Anyway, let's finish the dish. Finish the dish. Yeah! Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. And this shark right here is going to get the main course. Yes, yes, they will all get main courses. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Yes. Oh yes, eat up. Eat up! Another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. Mwah. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Great. Now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. Ah, uh, do we dump him in the chest? Oh, wait, wait. Is na Do I pull the lever now? Ah. Uh, 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 things are a bit... red. Things are really a bit red. Oh. 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 Uh. Is our special sauce hell? Did we put hell in the soup or something? That's a bit. That's a bit. This is a bit crazy. Uh, I can't. Uh, wooden cart? Oh. Okay, yeah, I dumped the bodies with them. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Yes, yeah. <laughs> dum de doom de doom de doom. Carrying bodies off the pier. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of. Oh! Here you are. Dead men tell no tales. We've never used the grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Long night of grinding down human bodies. Puts hair on your chest. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Excellent. Excellent they are now. The su- oh! That's the chest that they brought in. There was a dead guy in it. Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You were my dearest friend. When those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I won it fair and square. So they were pirates. 
Well, that makes a lot more sense. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me. Dead or alive. And she didn't. Death itself couldn't stop her. She became a zombie. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones. Near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. So it was about revenge the whole time. Rest well, Miss Appleton. And eat up. You've earned that dinner. That was good. That was a neat little adventure. The supper. See, this is why I love indie games, because you just come out with little gems like, and I call this a gem. It was short, it was entertaining, it was well animated, and it was fun. It was delightfully macabre. It's like an Edgar Allan Poe story, you know? And I, kudos to Octavia Navarro. Very, very, very good game in just a few minutes time. And that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that little that little tale, that little voyage into dark waters, and I hope you enjoy our next voyage as much as this one. Thank you for playing, and thank you, Pigeon. Without your sacrifice, none of this would have been possible. Please consider supporting the developer. I will. Make any more adventure games? I'll get them. I'll buy one if they're as, as neat as this one. Oh, buy the PDF art book DLC. Okay, okay. Thank you for your generosity. Anybody feel like doing that, go ahead and do it. But also, if you feel like leaving a like on this video, don't forget to do that too. And remember, I am and will remain your captain, and I'll see you all for dinner. Won't I? Bye bye